Hi guys, welcome back to Decorating Happily Ever After. I'm Jeffrey Kevin. Well today, I'm in my courtyard, and as you can see, we're still in the mid bleak winter. But I wanted to bring you a woodland themed winter picnic. So let's put on our coats and scarves and take a look around the table. For this tablescape, I'm going to be using my burlap tablecloth and I'm going to pair with it my faux wood chargers. I found these at Dollar Tree this year. And I'm also going to use my red dinner plates. I have red and black buffalo check napkins. And for the salad plates, I have this um, pretty pattern. It's got winter scenes with a white owl. I found these uh, marked down at Walmart after Christmas last year. I'm going to use my wood handled flatware. And I have my ruby red uh, glasses. And I'm also going to use these copper Moscow mule mugs. For my winter picnic, I brought out some plaid throws and a record player and a hat, which I probably could put on. <laughs> ah, I've got a vintage basket on one side. And here for the centerpiece, I've used a white uh, sort of a container. It looks like a log, kind of like a birch log, and I've got a red candle inside. And I've just surrounded it with some things from the yard. I've got a spruce, some holly, and I also have some dried hydrangeas. And I've set it on a copper tray, which I've mostly covered up, and I've tucked in a few little white owls. And on each side, I have some bundles of birch logs. And I've also used these cute little candles. I haven't lit these because the wind is up a little too much, but these look like little sweaters that wrap around them. They're called Sweater Weather is the name of the candles. I picked those up after Christmas on Markdown. I thought they were sweet. A candle with a sweater. <laughs> and here at the back corner, I have a large Moscow mug I suppose I'm going to use this for a punch bowl. I really don't know what you would want one that big for, but I've put a ladle in it. I thought you could do punch. Um, this time of year, we even have some boiled custard in the back of the fridge. So I thought that the copper mugs would be nice for either cocoa or some warm beverage, as long as it's not too hot. Here at the front corner of the table, I have a copper Moscow mug that has the hammered finish. And another blanket with a bowl of nuts. I'm not really sure what you would use this size mug for, unless maybe it's a wine cooler perhaps, but I love copper and I have a large collection of it in my kitchen. I also have this copper coffee pot. And 
And here at the back, I have a dome that I've set on top of a cake stand. It sort of looks like the trunk of a tree. <laughs> I thought that would be an ideal cake stand to use. It didn't come with the dome, but uh, I paired it with it. And here at the back of the table, I have a copper milk pitcher. I've always thought it would be a fun idea to have a winter picnic. So far, I haven't got my family to go along with one yet, but who knows? <laughs> Maybe one of these days. Here in my part of the South, we haven't got any snow yet, but it is cold. <laughs> And now I'll give you a look around at my courtyard in the winter. Right now, it's kind of barren. There's not much bloomed, and but it won't be long. Spring will be here, and we'll have signs of new life before long. And if you want to see my courtyard uh, in the summertime, go to my homepage and you'll see a video. It's called My Secret Garden Tour. And you can see what it looks like in warm weather. We haven't had the snow for this year. We've had a light dusting is all. But maybe we may get some. And if we do, I'll be sure and come out and film it. The courtyard is really pretty when all the hedges and everything's covered in snow. But as of yet, none so far. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a comment below. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with a friend. Be sure and subscribe to my channel, Decorating Happily Ever After, and turn on the notifications bell so you never miss a video. I'm Jeffrey Kevin, hoping that you decorate happily ever after. Bye-bye now.